Hi guys, I just wanted to show you my update of my Aero Garden 3. This thing has gone bananas in a month. I started it on uh, November 29th, I believe it was right around um, Thanksgiving. And I had an update, which I think was December the 8th that I showed you. And the um, plants were just popping out of, I mean you could barely tell on video that they were popping out of this little area right here, the little holes in the, the pods there. And now, it's amazing. I didn't even think that I was going to get the dill because it was behind the other plants, but it was there and it germinated and it's awesome. It's up this high. This is my Genovese basil and this is my thyme. And and I've got, that's also my African violet that's just sitting there trying, taking advantage of the light on the air garden. Um, I just repotted that and it looks like, I, I'm not sure on this guys, but like when the leaves get this long, I think you're supposed to put it in a pot like the diameter of the leaves. I'm not for sure. You guys might want to put some comments and let me know on that if I need to repot this again. I don't like to repot in winter. Probably breaking a lot of rules, but it looked like it was really outgrowing the little bitty uh, four inch pot that it was in and it's in bloom so I might have messed up I did repot it it seems to be doing okay um, but back to the arrow garden this thing is amazing um, I've added let's see nutrients twice that came with the kit this wouldn't be hard to do on your own um, this is the airstone technology and if you've ever worked with uh, fish tanks I think you could set one up yourself I have done fish tanks for 30 years since the time I was 12 years old so I have um, a lot of airstones a lot of old pumps laying around and I may try doing that with some household items coming up and show you some ways that you could do that easily um, this here I'm going to show you the inside of it Oh, it looks like I definitely need to add water too. I haven't looked at this lately. It needs water, but look at the roots. Can you see these roots in here? Like, there's roots. Just phenomenal. And apparently they do, once they start growing like this, you'll have to uh, watch your water intake and add more water more often. Um, I think these guys, if you look on here, they are programmed to kind of add the nutrient light comes on every two weeks and about every two weeks on the other air garden that I have upstairs I have a seven pod it has an actual um, add add water I believe there's an add water light but it comes on every two weeks just like clockwork I don't think it's actually an indicator of when the water gets low it just comes on every two weeks and I'll show you that one whenever I show you the one upstairs I'll be showing you that one on this video too but I just wanted to let you know this is it's awesome uh, I don't even really know how to cook with these things yet we have taken some of this we've pulled it off we didn't eat the stems we pulled off the little thyme leaves and we threw them in some um, we made like some pork chops um, in over top of some sauerkraut and we put some pepper and some garlic um, salt on it and we cook that in the oven for about 45 minutes on 350 and we kind of threw this over the top of that and um the the smell is amazing i'm not quite sure if um we could tell that much on the flavor but we were not trying to decimate our plant just yet because this is all we've got so we just use a few so i'm sure that as it gets bigger and we have a lot more to use we can tell the difference in the food but the basil looks awesome like all the little bitty leaves down here if you can see the little bitty leaves underneath I mean there's even a little baby plant like right down there at the very bottom if you can see him right there by my finger there but it's coming up and pretty soon you know I haven't I haven't um, raised the lights just yet the lights I'm raising it for the video but the light was about to here and it's almost ready to raise so I'm hoping this will get like really big really bushy and we'll have lots of it to dry or freeze and uh, just using cooking all around now I did get an arrow garden a seven pod um, like I mentioned in my last um, video before this my other arrow garden video where I introduced this one 
that I was getting it online um, that I had ordered off of one of the I don't remember if it was eBay or one of those but I did I want it there or you know basically did the auction for it and got it at a fairly decent price and so I bought it put that upstairs got it really cheap good deal because um, I didn't want to spend a fortune on these I was able to get at least the two that I have for less than the price of one and also I got a um, the one I'm growing upstairs is a salsa kit so and it's got some growth on it too so I'm going to show you that in a minute and uh, let you see how that's going okay guys here is my Aero Garden 7 pod it's actually the Pro 100 is what the actual title of this one is called the reason it's called the Pro 100 is they have on this model uh, and it doesn't look like it's giving me a good uh, like I can get a good picture of that but the reason why it's the Pro 100 is it has uh, settings for tomatoes salad green herbs flowers strawberries and the strawberry light you can program it for strawberries when you do that it will let, allow you to leave the lights on 24 hours a day instead of 16 hours or on 8 hours off like is the normal cycle so you have that option and also it has kind of an adaptive intelligence is what it's called and it will let you it'll leave the lights on longer and your pumps on longer depending upon what stage your plant is in if it's in germination or the initial growth or the mature growth okay this guys is the salsa kit the salsa kit comes with three pods and it comes with four spacers the little red things are your spacers the pods that I have right here are see if I can move back and it'll be sharper there you go this is the salsa garden the a tomato this is the mini jalapeno pepper and this back here is another tomato um, a cherry tomato a red heirloom cherry tomato now the thing about this is this one's a lot bigger than this guy over here the reason why is this works differently than the Aero Garden 3 that I showed you. The Aero Garden 3 that I showed you has an air stone in it. Just a pump, a tubing, and an air stone. This one has a different internal type pump, um, not the one that's outside, no air stone, and it has little holes that run the whole length of each pod. There's a little hole that comes out, and it pumps up the water through underneath the top here underneath the top here and then it goes through these little channels all underneath your aero garden and each pod will have a little drip spout that comes out well like I said this was used and I guess this spout back here was more clogged than any of the others so the others were running freely this one is running out so I thought it was okay but it wasn't it made it just wasn't getting enough water so I moved this guy from back here to here and it grew a lot bigger now once the roots see the roots are reaching into the water I, he would be fine to go ahead and put him back there actually I'm going to go ahead and just move him back there now and press him in where he can have enough room to grow away from put the spacer here away from the other guy here this jalapeno because otherwise they'll get too close so there's those and I'm going to be excited to make some salsa this winter that is going to be awesome so anyway these guys are growing great and hopefully I can pollinate these guys and it'll be fantastic um, if you get one of these I recommend used go ahead and take this uh, there's those channels off the bottom of your arrow garden and clean those out just to make sure it looked like the person who owned it before had cleaned everything out and I'm sure they did a good job but the reason why I didn't take it apart underneath there is because 
the screws were kind of stripped and any uh, Phillips screwdriver that I put in there just wasn't taking those screws out and I was too excited to get the salsa kit going since the water seemed to be going out that I went ahead and just did it this way and it's worked okay but if I do my next crop I'll probably take all those out put new screws in and then I won't have that problem but everything else came okay so and then you have a big water level here I'll lift this up um, not seeing much there we go in there see there's an attached the pump is up underneath that middle section and then the roots are hanging down Let's see if I can get that back in there and then the pump will start those up again in a minute but anyway that's the growth oh this growth started I'm gonna say December 4th is around the time that I actually started these I started these before I showed you the first one but the thing was I didn't have any growth yet and I felt like I had just kind of done that one jumped the gun because there wasn't really enough growth in the other one yet so I didn't want to do that to you again but you can see the growth on this so we've got our tomatoes peppers and our other tomato plant and we're doing pretty good and this lid will raise uh, 22 inches I believe the lights will go up 22 inches so they'll give them room to grow and then um, I, I'll do some more updates and I'll see how I need to trellis these guys if I can come up with something other than having to spend money constantly on the pods and there's lots of ways that you can make this work on your own and I'll come up with some other ways that you can do that and yes I can grow things <laughs> let me show you a little bit here I can grow things other than in dirt other than hydroponics right now but um, this is my rubber plant I've actually had to give up on the the uh, lemons I, I've looked there's nothing there I'm gonna go ahead and keep it covered and keep it under the lights just in case but I think my lemon I from seed I'm gonna have to try again on that but here's I've got a um, money tree and this one is getting a little bit since the winter it's getting a little bit lighter I'm not sure if um, the watering needs something with that but this plant needs help a little bit and then I've got um, very easy ones like I said I'm just starting out this is a red Christmas cactus when it blooms this is an unknown color that I have that's it's needed help ever since I got it it's just not thriving at all um, these are doing great this is a red one and over here this one is a, a pink one when it blooms so I've got those and then over here I've got my prayer plant and I love this guy they close up the leaves close up at night and this is a gold um, Christmas cactus a golden color it didn't bloom this year I just got it this summer and had them ship it from Hertz um, gardens and it didn't bloom either but my red and my um, pink one over there did bloom still waiting on that one to get bigger and see maybe next year and then this is my ponytail palm which I adore this plant guys I have to keep it up because my cats love 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 to chew on this thing any fake palm trees and I've got several in my house the cats go crazy and they chew the fake palm trees so anything spiky like this they can't resist it's a plant food extraordinaire is what that is for a cat so anyway I keep that up I'm waiting for it to get taller so that I can actually sit it on the ground and uh, the cats won't be able to reach this part of it but they're very slow growing but beautiful I love these I could have a house full of these and I may get some more once I see some more out um, in the stores because I absolutely love it it's the ponytail plant Z what are you doing you rotten little bandit mm-hmm see what's happening he's on my TV stand how I don't know but there he's getting my plant ah, nope buddy don't you do that to me don't you do that to my plant 
No. Oh no, I gotta go. Bye guys. Keep watching. Don't let your cats do this. You monkey.